Hello and welcome to my mini series on how to play castanets. Through various videos, I will show you the basics, how to put them on, what are the main sounds, what are the main things to pay attention to, so you can build a foundation with which you can develop your technique to play castanets, either for dancing flamenco or just if you want to play the instrument just like that for fun. Castanets are hand percussion tools used in flamenco dance and in classical Spanish dance. They are called castañuelas or palillos in Spanish and it's not mandatory you don't have to play the castanets if you take flamenco lessons but it's definitely an asset because it just adds so much and is one of the trademarks of flamenco for sure they require a lot of attention of their own so it's something you can opt to do when you're learning flamenco or you don't have to do them at all you can get your castanets online they are various prices various brands so you just should get, unless you have very big hands or very small hands, the standard size that you'll find will work just fine. You can get them for as little as $30. Of course, you can get anywhere from there to very, very expensive ones for concert castanets, professional ones, but a simple castanet would do for you to start. Um, if your castanets are uh, relatively decent for dance, they should have uh, two pitches one has a higher pitch than the other so you will see that one might have a dent in there where you can see that there is a little dent there in the middle of the castanet and then the other one doesn't sometimes you'll there will be castanets that have more than one dent or two but definitely the ones with the dent would go on your dominant hand which would normally be your right hand if you're right-handed. So that one has with a higher pitch with the little mark in there on the wood goes on your right hand. The knots are already there in the castanets, so do not undo the knot unless you need to change the string, which can happen when you use them a lot. And then the knot goes first. The knot goes in first, then you slide it through your thumb and put this rope right on the bed of your nail. With the strings, you pull it so that it's tight. It's not so tight that it's cutting your circulation, but it's tight enough that the castanet stays open like this and has some tension in it. So it's a, uh, a tense position for your castanet in there. And then you do the same thing with your other hand. You start with going, sliding the knot first in, then you pass the thumb through it, and then you pull the string tight, and there you have it. Castanets, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to give you a couple of tips now for you to practice and to take care of your hands. Castanets requires a lot of finger strength and that needs to be developed over time. So it's very important that instead of doing an hour one day and not touched for a week, you do like five, 10 minutes every day. That makes all the difference. And that you stretch the back of your hands I always see my musicians do this sort of stretch where you stretch the fingers and the, and the tendons in your hands so that you don't get tendonitis on your hands or a carpal tunnel or anything like that. So stretch your hands and also do exercises like this in which you bend your fingers and try to put them with the tip of the finger right in the middle of your hand. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This sort of exercise is really good to gain speed and gain control of your fingers and strength. So this is something I recommend you do. And just anything that strengthens your fingers and then shake them, stretch them after you practice every time and uh, that's it. I'll see you in my next lesson. Bye-bye.